so we have a lot of things out there known as personality development uh i'm not sure if they know this i'm sure they do because uh, they're the ones many of them who do have these personality tests so first you go out and identify what personality you have but it's sort of weird to see that all of them have the same routine for development of personality i mean of course it's going to be so different you have like 18 subtypes like 3 4 6 multiplied subtypes under that which is pretty crazy and i mean the question i ask is how can you have the same goals and the same ideas for everyone uh i say this a lot but um there's a simple experiment that um, what's his name this physicist uh that genius what's his name i totally forgot his name uh he did and uh, you know he just wanted to ask if two people look at the same way he just asked people to count from 1 to 10 and you know it turns out that you may be counting with sound in your head or you may be looking at numbers flipping through or you may be imagining drops of water falling or you know so many of these different things so when i'm saying 1 to 10 what i'm seeing in my head is totally different from what you're seeing in your head if things are so different and if personality influences so much the way that we think how does personality development work by being the same for everyone it just cannot it doesn't make sense to me uh which is why i mean there are basic concepts i'm sure is that whole extrovert bias issue where the world wants everyone to be an extrovert but uh introverts are starting to speak up <laughs> surprisingly and uh, i was saying that you know we have our own place in the world we look at the world in a different way and it's not necessarily wrong so that's pretty cool but uh that's where i feel that you need to identify personalities and yeah there are basic goals and basic ideas things you do there are various exercises that help everyone uh but what is best now with internet being there so like basically if you are someone who wants to go into personality development if you want to develop your personality first identify your personality there are brilliant tests out there um I'll link one of the my favorite websites in the description at 16 personalities uh, not sponsored by them or anything just like that website it's interesting um and you can check out what personality you are and then the best thing to do is find those like you like I seem to have a very rare personality apparently so it's hard for me to find people like me around me though the internet is full of so many of them and just listening to how they deal with their problems or listening to their experiences first of all makes you feel like yeah you're normal you're not going through anything that's you know just on you and moreover the techniques that they might be using to overcome their situation will be more helpful to you than say an extrovert if you're an introvert or the other way around So I think that's the best way of going about personality development. What personality are you trying to develop? That's the answer to that I think. If you like this podcast and if you have any other things that you like me to talk about and ask me questions um maybe something about losses and you know difficulties in life. Um uh, some of you know me, some of you may not know me. If you'd like me to talk about it, do let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. or listening rather <laughs> see you bye bye